the National Museum of Japanese History in Sakura City, Chiba Prefecture, portrays the history and culture of Japan from prehistoric times to today. Standing in Sakura Castle Park, the museum is known locally as Rekihaku. As part of the Inter-University Research Institute Corporation, Rekihaku conducts research with scholars from universities nationwide and presents exhibitions based on that research. Blending history, archaeology, and folk studies, the museum uses artifacts, replicas, and reconstructions to show the daily lives of ordinary people. Let's explore the galleries. Gallery 1 contains exhibits about prehistoric and ancient times, when humans first appeared on the Japanese archipelago. To survive the harsh ice age, people hunted with stone tools and fashioned garments from animal hides. As the climate warmed, more settled ways of life developed, which included many local varieties of Jomon pottery. People developed magical practices as well. People's lives changed dramatically with the introduction of wet rice cultivation from the Korean Peninsula. What did a bronze bell sound like when it was sounded at festivals? Referred to as wakoku in Chinese historical texts, Japan became known as a distinct country in East Asia. The massive Kofun burial mounds built throughout Japan represent the power of the rulers who built them. Buddhism arrived from the Korean Peninsula. The Ritsu Ryo state was established based on the legal system modeled on penal and administrative codes from China. The Northern World and the Southern World. This gallery depicts prehistoric and ancient Japan from a variety of perspectives including that of international exchange. Gallery 2 explores the life of aristocrats, warriors, and commoners from the Heian period to the Azuchi Momoyama period. Aristocrats developed court culture. The warrior class began to gain power during the Kamakura period. In the Moromachi period, the common people came to the center of the historical stage. Towns developed, and artisans practiced increasingly sophisticated techniques. As overseas trade grew, so did encounters with other cultures. Gallery 3 introduces Japan's contacts with other nations. It also explores daily life and culture in early modern Japan, particularly in the Edo period. The busy streets of Edo, now Tokyo, 
we can imagine how people lived during the Edo period. During the Edo period, the ruling class restricted overseas trade and banned overseas visits. However, contact with the outside world, mainly with East Asia, was allowed through four entry points, including Nagasaki. The Urban Age. Port towns and castle towns built in this period became today's cities. Edo was the largest castle town. In the Edo period, people began to enjoy better lives as transportation networks became more developed. We explore how villagers worked, studied, entertained. Sometimes they had to fight to preserve their way of life. Those who would lead Japan's modern society emerged from the nation's villages. You can experience Edo culture by visiting the Terakoya Rekihaku, a hands-on learning area. Gallery 4 introduces the folk culture that emerged from daily life and which has been passed down to us today. Local foodways are closely linked to regional cultures and seasonal festivals. Landscape, nature conservation, and changes in everyday life. Creating and passing on folklore. Stories and traditions handed down within families are always changing too. People's prayers for health and the blessings of nature inspired various festivals and ceremonies. the ability to imagine the supernatural. Ceremonies and festivities make moments of transition in life. Finally, death. People produced and distributed goods. Homes were not only dwelling places, but also spaces for production and for worship. To enjoy the benefits of nature and the environment, people employed various knowledge and methods. Gallery 5 explores modernization in Japan from the latter half of the 19th century through the 1920s. Cultural Enlightenment. People learned about contemporary ideas, rights, and freedom. However, society remained afflicted by discrimination and contradictions. The silk and steel industries powered the modernization of Japan. Ainu cultures. Footage of the great Kanto earthquake in 1923.
consumer culture through women's eyes. Silent films from the era. Gallery 6 explores the dramatic changes that came to Japan between the 1930s and the 1970s. War and Peace. Japan experienced several wars between the late 19th century and the mid 20th century. The Asia Pacific War affected not only soldiers, it also disrupted everyday life and caused great suffering among ordinary people. When the war ended, Japan was occupied by the Allied powers. Amid severe food shortages, Japan was demilitarized, democratized, and reformed. In the post-war period, Japan enjoyed rapid economic growth, and life changed enormously but some suffered from the pollution that rapid growth created. Magazines, movies, and other media reflect the tumultuous changes. At the Rekihaku, Visitors can enjoy special and featured exhibitions several times a year. Visitors can browse exhibition-related books. In the media room, visitors can watch videos and films. In the family discovery room, families can learn history and culture through hands-on activities. On the east side of the museum lies the botanical garden of everyday life. These plants have been part of the lives of Japanese people since prehistoric and ancient times. The artifacts in our collections are studied in various ways. This is an X-ray fluorescence spectrometer analysis of pigments. This is an ICP mass spectrometry examination of bronze objects. These research results are used in the museum's exhibitions. The National Museum of Japanese History conducts ongoing research so that people everywhere can gain better understanding of Japanese history and culture. <laughs>